so whenever you start to plan out uh, your 3D projects either you ha you are planning your personal projects or you get hired by someone to do some 3D modeling it is always wise to uh, search for reference images uh, for the design you are going to make so on the web it's pretty easy to find some really nice reference images I normally use Pinterest uh, you can find countless images on Pinterest uh, for whatever you are looking for uh, and if you like you can follow my boards just type in my name and follow the boards you are you like uh, the other web page that I really like for architectural designs is CG Architect. You get uh, in gallery, you get really uh, nice CG uh, images that you can uh, look up, look upon to figure out uh, how to set up your camera, where to set up your camera, uh, how to set up and where to set up uh, the lights. Uh, how many details should be modeled and how they impact the final render so these these things are really important when you have to, when you want to create some good 3d renders for this lesson we are going to use a floor map which is uh, a blueprint from a bird's view so just type in floor map in your browser and then go to images and search tools and size and large and then just select one you like and save it to your hard drive then open up a 3ds max and select one of views and, and press alt to w on the keyboard to make it the only one seen and press t on the keyboard to go to the top view and g to shut down the grid go to create uh, geometry uh, standard primitives plane and then just on the top view just draw out a simple plane right click in the canvas to go out of the create creation mode and then just click here on realistic and select shaded and configure viewports and selection brackets should be off and display selected with edge faces should be on and then just click OK we're going to change the color as we can see if we go to modify panel uh, let me resize that we can see it has four length segments and four width segments just just right click on these arrows to set them to one and then and then just press M on the keyboard to open up a material editor and in one of these boxes just click on this where it says none to the diffuse uh, channel and go and select bitmap and just find the image that you save to your hard drive and and double click on it to open it then you just have to click on go to parent and while you have your plane selected just click here assign material to selection and if nothing happens make sure you have show shaded material in viewport clicked on so now we have our reference image set up we can close the material editor sometimes when you draw out the plane it is not the same dimensions as the reference image uh, so let me show you what I mean if I would uh, resize the plane like this you can see the reference image becomes really stretched so to fix this, to easily fix this or to get uh, the right proportion uh, depending on the reference image we apply a UV map modifier and we go down to click on bitmap fit and we go to the folder where we saved our reference image and double click on it and as we can see the image is being resized no matter how large the plane is 
so these uh, borders represent the size of the reference image and now we just need to go back to plane and resize it until we get the whole reference image scene this way the reference image is presented in the right proportions and it is not stretched and now we can uh, go to manage layers and while we have the reference image selected we just uh, create new layer uh, the selected reference image is going to be transferred to the new layer and we can rename it and before we do anything else we just click on the reference image right click on it and go to object properties and make sure you have backface call uh, clicked on and show frozen in gray clicked off and now we can go back to layers and freeze the floor map layer and make sure you click on the default so this arrow is on the default and which means every anything that you are going to model uh, in the future it's going to be modeled on the default layer and now as we can see we cannot select the reference image which is exactly what we wanted because uh, when we model in our views we don't want the reference image to get in the way but we still want to see it to use it uh, for as a reference image so this is pretty much it about the importance of reference images and how to set a simple reference image in your viewport <laughs>